Hi friend, I'm Lee Keckner. Welcome to day 15 of Ownership, 33 days to a happier life. I'm so happy you're here joining me today. And if you would now join me by uncrossing your legs and taking three grounding breaths. Put your feet on your floor and we'll start with our in through our nose and out through our mouth. In through our nose. And out through our mouth. In through our nose and out through our mouth, in through our nose, and out through our mouth. <sighs> Thank you for that. Um, I love the topic today. It's called Flawed and Fabulous, which I think each one of us are. I think that our flawed side is our human side, our quirks, our fears, and our fabulous side is our connected more to our true self with the capital S, our soul. We have those two things going on and I really have those two dynamics going on in my body. Today I wrote a bunch of stuff so I'm gonna read a little bit as we go. As I observe my life, I see deeply my connected, spiritual, full of wisdom side. Then I observe my very human, quirky, name forgetting, likes to party, dance and do high kick side. Um, this is just a little bit about me. I have severe ADD, dyslexia, and when I was 13, I fell off a cliff and I had a traumatic brain injury. Now, all of this concocted together, sprinkled together in my brain, makes for pretty interesting shit going on up there. And since we're having owner shit, I'm having um, awareness of what is going on in my brain so often. Um, one way that my, my uh, brain trauma or my manifest is I can't remember names. Now it's an interesting thing for me to navigate because so many people are wearing the story goggles of unworthiness or feeling like they don't matter. And one of the greatest ways you can trigger somebody's story goggles of unworthiness is not remembering their name, right? Like that's the worst thing because then they're like, oh, she doesn't even see me, she doesn't care who I am, she doesn't know me, you know, all of the things that we glom on to people when we are looking through our goggles. Um, so when I can't remember their name, they attach so much on it onto me. It kind, of, kind of comes out of me. And I used to over apologize for this and try to over explain why I couldn't remember their name. Um, now how, now I realize that how they react to life is on them. I can only be me and show up in a way where I take a pause before I react, react and I try and respond instead of react. Um, so now I may say to someone when I can't remember their name, I'm so sorry I can't remember your name, but I will never forget your eyes. I will never forget your face and I will never forget your energy or how you're showing up right now in front of me. Um, another way that I navigate my forgetfulness on names is I just say, hi friend, right? So I just call everyone friend because A, you are, we're all connected. Um, and B, I avoid so many landmines of people's story goggles because of how my brain's wired. So now I just say, hi, friend. Marianne Williamson wrote a quote, and I love it so much. And I could read this quote for every single day of the 33 days. Um, but if you guys would just take a moment to hear this, and I'm also going to post it after in the comments so you can read it or print it out or whatever you want to do. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that, we, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We are all meant to shine, as children do. We were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us, and it's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. As we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Oh, I love that so much. We are not here to play small. We are not here to look at life always through our story goggles. So then I wrote, I am brilliant, and so are all of you. I see and salute the pure, beautiful God within you. 
and to the fear that holds you back, that holds us back to our flaws, I say look at them, bring awareness to them, but don't judge them or fight them. They are a part of your story. No one else on this entire planet experiences or has the exact same perspective as you, but everyone has struggles and fears. Everyone wants to know that they matter. And I have to say to you today, you matter, friend, just as you are. You are worthy and you, you, you matter just because you're breathing and you're born and you're on this planet right now. I didn't print out this one part, but in the spiritual world, I, at the beginning I was looking at Deepak Chopra and I was looking at, at Eckhart Tolle and they were just like ciphering out and channeling all of this information. And then I would look at myself going, okay, I'm cussing and I'm high kicking and I'm cocktailing and I'm living life this way and wild and boldly and wild, but I also have this really deep wisdom inside of me. Do I have to tweak who I am to do what I'm supposed to do? And now I know the answer is heck no. I am to be fully myself, flawed and fabulous, and show up with that knowing and that hu humanness to teach from my humanness. So don't ever think you have to change who you are. You have to tweak it to fit something. You are perfect right now to do what you're called to do, to do what you love to do right now, just as you are. Um, here's my quote. I am flawed and fabulous. Let all parts of me shine and let me be drunk in the knowing that love is all that matters. Okay, that gives me chills to give herself the freedom to be flawed to give herself the freedom to, to shine and to be fabulous as we're called to do. God, thank you for letting me be awake to my flaws. Thank you for being, letting me be awake to the things that are quirky or the things that I need to look at or the things that I need to touch and I'm grateful for all of it. Let me keep learning from those. Let those keep teaching me to move closer to love. I send love and light to all the people watching today and let them today experience their greatness, their fabulousness. In God's name, amen. Amen, beautiful people. I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining in. Have a beautiful freaking day. You are fabulous. Pink has a song that goes, You're perfect. You're effing perfect. Oh, I can't remember how it goes, but listen to it today because you are effing perfect just the way you are. Thank you for coming. Bye.